if you want to be part of a community of like-minded people, then you're in the right place. I love challenging the status quo and doing things differently. It just so happens I take great landscape photography images and I share the stories behind them. Subscribe to my channel. Welcome to my channel. My name's Stephen Milner. I'm a landscape photographer from New Zealand. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I'm just down here at Lake Taupo on the southern end of the lake and there's this fabulous tree here that I've just been photographing with my Mamiya 7. I discovered this tree a few months ago and it's with thanks to another New Zealand photographer called Paul Smith. I, I really encourage you to check out his channel. I'll, I'll leave a link in in the video somewhere, that maybe down below or something like that. But yeah, I mean, it's such a, such a such a beautiful spot. I had to come here and try and photograph it myself. So I've got a roll of Fujifilm VLV50 in my Mamiya 7, and I've done two shots. I've done a, a 50 mil shot, which is basically a 25 millimeter equivalent in 35 millimeter format, and I've also done a 150 millimeter, which is the equivalent of 75 millimeter in 35 millimeter format. So I've been using my light meter to expose the scenes, which is a Siconic light meter. And the way I've been approaching that is I've been metering the darkest scene in my image and then the lightest scene. And then we basically average it out. And then with quite a good feature of this light meter, I'm able to go back through and evaluate the scene and make sure that the dynamic range of my photo is within the dynamic range of the Fujifilm VLV50, which is up to five stops. You don't really want to be up near five stops. And the images that I've been taking today have been around about three to four stops. So my darker areas were kind of like minus one, thereabouts, and my highlights were about plus three. So it's about five stops-ish, but what I've also got on the front is a three-stop medium edge soft quad filter which basically blocks out those highlights and I've also got on a three stop ND filter to smooth out some of this water so both compositions are very similar obviously one's wide angle and the other one's kind of telephoto so in terms of my compositions it's been the same for both lenses essentially what I've been trying to do is use the black sand here and the breaking waves to lead the eye up to the tree just here which I think is going to work out quite nicely but you know with film you never know until you get it back from the lab so in terms of focusing on a Mia 7 they can be quite tricky and I found a process that I think works really well so I'm going to try to explain that to you now so basically what I do is I kind of pace out and gauge the nearest point in meters that I want in focus and I make a mental note of that and when I come to my camera on the lens there's a meter scale that I'm able to find the nearest point which today was about three meters what I essentially do is I move that three meter mark to line up with the f-stop number which in the case of this shot here that I've just done is f11 and I make sure that that three meters is on the left hand side against f11 on the lens and then what I do is I make sure the infinity marker is within the f11 range and it normally is from a mere 7 and I find that really does give you sharp images So that's it for today's video, thank you for tuning in, I hope you've learned something, it's been a pleasure to bring you along with me on this amazing photography journey that I'm going on and today I've been really fortunate to capture some really good shots in Lake Taupo 
with a really famous tree right here in New Zealand. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you come back soon. So if you want to support me, the best way you can do that right now is to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment in the section below and maybe give me some feedback on this video on some of the things you liked or maybe some of the things you didn't like or if you want to see me do something differently and that would be awesome, I would really appreciate that. I also encourage you to check out my social media sites, mainly Facebook and Instagram. Please like my Facebook page and say hello. I always respond and I'd really like to hear from you. So once again, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.